Hello folks. So in this series of sessions, we have already discussed types of polynomials. We have discussed polynomials in general, what polynomials are, how do we define polynomials. And uh, we have also defined or we discussed in the last session different types of polynomials. We saw linear, biquadratic, quadratic, cubic and all that. And uh, in this session, we are going to discuss uh, what does it mean to uh, or what, what does value of a polynomial mean. Okay, so you now know there is a polynomial, let us say fx or px. Let us say there's a polynomial px. Polynomial px. Let me, yeah, let us say there is a polynomial px. So p of x is given as a n x n plus a n minus 1, x n minus 1 plus so on and so forth. Let us say a 2 x squared plus a 1 x plus a naught. So these are this is a polynomial. Now what is value of a polynomial mean? Value of a polynomial uh, means that uh, at any given value of x, let us say at x equals to let us say alpha, right? So what if you uh, if now someone says value of a polynomial at x equals to alpha is nothing but you replace what you replace replace x or the variable the variable in this case x variable by the given number by the given given value given value and that value here is alpha isn't it so if you replace it so it will become p of so wherever you see x you replace it by alpha so it is p of alpha is equal to a n alpha n then a n minus 1 alpha n minus 1 plus dot dot whatever it is let us say a2 alpha square plus a1 alpha plus a0 so this will be value of the polynomial so i hope you would have understood but uh, you know I, I know we need to uh, do or let's just give you some more examples to understand this so not to worry let us see what does it mean what does it mean uh, to find out value of a given polynomial so let us take an example now i have an example px is let us say uh, 3x square minus 2x plus 1. Okay, this is one of my. So if you have studied the type of types of polynomials, you would have guessed it by now that this is a quadratic polynomial. Quadratic polynomial. Why? Because the highest degree term is this and the degree is 2. Isn't it? So this is a quadratic polynomial and I want to find out value of value of what? Px. So always value of the polynomial would be found out at let us say x equals to 0 okay so if i what does it mean then you do don't need to do anything you just write simply write p and replace x by 0 wherever you see x replace it by 0 so it is th 3 into 0 square minus 2 times 0 now this point which i am making is into it's not it doesn't mean decimal so it is a multiplication sign and then plus 1 so hence you'll see it is nothing but 1 so if someone asks you about the uh, value of the polynomial when x or the variable is 0 you know you know what what will be the value the value will be nothing but whatever is the constant term can you see only constant term is right so let us now find for this same polynomial p1 what does it mean it means replace x by 1 so 3 into 1 square minus 2 into 1 plus 1 so which is nothing but 3 minus 2 plus 1 which is nothing but 2 so we say px is equal to 2 at x equals 1 okay in the same example let us say what do we get if i have to find out p of minus 2 that means find the value of the polynomial at p is equal to minus 2 so what will it be so you replace x by minus 2 wherever, wherever it is so minus 2 square minus 2 times minus 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3 into this is nothing but 3 times 4 this is not so let me write into only so minus 2 into so this will be 2 into 2 and then plus 1 so which is nothing but 12 plus 4 plus 1 so 17 right so this is how you you will calculate the value of a polynomial at a at a given value of x or the variable similarly another polynomial let us say gt is equal to 3t cube minus 2t square plus let us say t only okay three terms are there we know that and what type of polynomial it is if you see this is a cubic polynomial isn't it because the highest degree term is three cubic polynomial so hence if i put g of 
0. What will I get? I'll get 3 into 0 square, sorry, cube, minus 2 times 0 square plus 0, which is equal to 0. If there is no constant term, then the moment you put 0 in the polynomial, you'll get the value as 0. What will be g1? g1 will be 3 into 1 cube minus 2 into 1 square plus 1. So what is it? 3 minus 2 plus 1 again. 3 minus 2 plus 1 that is 2. So g1 is equal to 2. Okay. So value of the polynomial at x equals to 1 is nothing but 2. This is what is called finding out the value of a polynomial. Now let us solve a question. Let us say I have a polynomial px uh, and this is a quadratic polynomial. Quadratic polynomial. Okay. Polynomial. And it is given that p0 is equal to 1, p of 1 is equal to 2 and p of minus 1 is equal to let us say 0. So you have to find out, find the polynomial find the polynomial find the polynomial right so solution how do we solve it so let us say the polynomial px is nothing but ax squared plus bx plus c i know that a quadratic polynomial will always be of this form a b a x square bx plus c isn't it and and mind you a cannot be zero if a a becomes zero then what happens this is reduced to a linear polynomial so hence this is my desired quadratic polynomial i have to just find out the value of a b and c and hence i will be able to find the polynomial so let us see how to do it so p of 0 let us put x equals to 0 so what will you get a times 0 square plus b times 0 plus c and it is given that p of 0 is 1 so this value is 1 that means what c is equal to 1 so we found out one value now p of 1 is given as 2 so p of 1 is equal to 2 that means i have to replace x by 1 all the time right wherever x is so a times 1 square plus b times 1 plus c c i can write as 1 because we just found out c is 1 so what do we get a plus b plus 1 is equal to 2 that means a plus b is equal to 1 okay now, third is p of minus 1 is equal to 0. That means what? p of minus 1 will be a times minus 1 square plus b times minus 1 plus c was 1. So, let us write 1. So, what do I get? So, it is a minus b plus 1 is equal to 0 or a minus b is equal to minus 1. Isn't it? So, now if you see, let us see, let us say this is equation number 1. This is equation number 2. So if you add 1 plus 2, what will you get? If you add, add 1 plus 2. So adding equation means adding LHS to LHS, RHS to RHS. So you'll get 2A, isn't it? Because what is it? It is nothing but A plus B plus A minus B in the RHS. So eventually B, B will get cancelled. So you get 2A first. And then on the RHS, you will get 0. Why? 1 minus 1, which is 0. So hence, A is coming out to be 0, which is not possible, isn't it? So hence, we will not, not get a polynomial. We will not get a quadratic polynomial where A is A is 0. So hence, let us tweak it a little bit. Let us say, instead of saying that P minus 1 was 0, P minus 1 was, P minus 1 was 0, let us say we are, uh, uh, we have P, P minus 1 is also equal to let us say 2 just for the understanding sake okay so let us say we change it because yeah so let us say it is 2 so what what will happen so you will get let us say now you equate um this to uh, p of minus 1 is equal to uh, so i had written here 0 actually p1 was 2 yeah p minus 1 okay so let's not keep it uh, same let us write p1 p minus 1 was 3 so instead of here I used, I have written by mistake 2, so let, let it be 3, okay. Now what, so a minus b plus 1, here I used it correctly, but then there I was writing 2, never mind. So a minus b, this a, this a here minus b plus 1 is let us say 3. So a minus b will be nothing but 2, isn't it? 
a minus b will be 2. Now again add it, add both. So what will you get? 2 plus 1. And here you will get 1 plus this 2 is nothing but not 0 but 3. So hence my friend, what do I get? a is equal to 3 by 2. Right? So if a is equal to 3 by 2, I can find b. Why? From 1, from, from 1, a is equal to 1 minus b, is it? Or sorry, b is equal to 1 minus a b is equal to 1 minus a so hence b is equal to 1 minus 3 by 2 which is minus half so hence what is my equation now we are uh, sorry polynomial i got all a b and c so polynomial p x will be equal to what is a 3 by 2 x square it is b minus half x plus c that is 1 now let us check whether our result is correct or not so p 0 should give you 0 clearly p 0 is giving you 0 Put x goes to 0 you'll get p0 is 0 p1 should give us 2 so let's put 1 so it is 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 that is 1 and plus 1 is 2 so p1 is also correct and p of what was the third one minus 1 right p of minus 1 must be 3 so let us check p of minus 1 is equal to 3 by 2 minus 1 square minus half times minus 1 plus 1 which is nothing but 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 that is 2 plus 1 that is 3 so all the three values are satisfied so hence my polynomial is nothing but px equals to 3 by 2 x square minus half x plus 1 hope you understood what is the meaning of value of a polynomial and let us say if if the if some values of polynomial at different different points are given you can find out find out the polynomial itself if, and if you notice, to find out a quadratic polynomial, you required three such values. So if there will be a, a cubic polynomial, then you will be requiring four such points to find out that cubic polynomial.